Yo, what is going on guys, Sirius here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to port an Infinity Loader project over to the compiler I've released. Um, first of all, I added a update today to be able to support the ifdef preprocessor directives. Don't worry about what that means, just know that now I support uh, most of the Infinity Loader syntax from Black Ops 3, so you shouldn't have any more issues with um, getting a syntax error at a random line. I also added some support for uh, actually tracking down the correct file and line number for errors, so I'll show that off in a minute, but um, this is going to be a tutorial using default menu on how you can actually port a project over from Infinity Loader. So what you're going to want to do, go ahead and download the latest update, update 1. If you don't have this, if you have the old one, you're going to need to download the new update. Um, make sure you install it using the installation video. Um, I'll link that in the description below so that you can update your project. I'm just going to download the t7compiler.zip for this video because we need the default project from it. So for any menu that you're going to do, you're going to want to start with a default project because the default project has some pretty important files in it. We're going to take the default project. Um, I already have a project folder, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to drop the default project into this so we get the correct file structure. Um, and then we're going to just close this out. We don't need this anymore. We'll open up the default project folder. You should have this VS Code folder right here and this scripts folder right here. This gsc.conf is important too because this is where you're going to put your preprocessor directives. Again, don't worry about what that means for now. I'll show you in a minute. So go ahead and download whatever menu you're going to port. Um, I'm going to do default menu. I will leave a link in the description if you would like to follow along using default menu. I'm going to go into the folder. You should see your config.il and all this stuff in here. Just drag all of this into your scripts folder. Now, now before you do that, make sure you delete th this folder right here because this is the old menu files. We don't want these. Your scripts folder should be empty in your default project. You see, I have I've these files and then inside scripts, I've got this. All your scripts for this compiler have to go in the scripts folder. Anything outside of it is not gonna be compiled. So what we're going to do is just drag the contents of default menu into here. Okay, once we've got that, we can just delete config.il because we don't need that anymore. Then we're going to back out of here. And this is the folder that we're going to open with Visual Studio Code. You want to make sure you have this. You open that with Visual Studio Code. Uh, yes, I trust it. And when we go in, we should see all of this stuff, right? Now... If we've done everything correctly, all we're going to have to do is go into the gsc.conf and define these symbols. These symbols are required for default menu only. For different menus, you're going to want different symbols. So, for example, if you want to use a multiplayer injection for default menu, you just need to put MP, right? If you want to inject it for ZM, you got to put ZM, right? You also need the serious symbol for my menu only. But we're going to inject to ZM for this, so we're going to use this, right? So we're going to go ahead and just uh, get ready to inject for Black Ops 3. We'll go into here. Now, there is one more thing if you're porting this from YouTube um, to make sure you don't crash. You have to go into stats.gsc, find this function right here on line 49, and just comment this out. Enable online match is a custom built-in from Infinity Loader. Anytime you're porting a project from Infinity Loader, you have to get rid of any calls to enable online match because that function doesn't exist in the base game. It's injected via a custom shellcode handler um, for Infinity Loader, which doesn't exist inside this compiler. So just get rid of this. That means you're going to have to use external force host tools if you want to mess with stats and multiplayer, but we're not going to worry about that for now. Just remember, if you ever see this function call on a project and you're crashing, you just got to get rid of that. Once all of this has been done, we should be able to inject. I'm going to press my hotkey, and we've got everything injected. We'll go ahead and just make sure everything's working. Now, um, again, this compiler update actually comes with a better syntax checker, so I'm going to show that off in a second, um, as long as this menu works. And we'll also maybe inject to multiplayer because I want to show you guys how to use the uh, preprocessor directives correctly. So we load up, we see aim and melee, yep, everything works fine. We got god mode, infinite ammo, everything's working. So we'll just go ahead and fast quit this. Um, if I have it in here. 
yeah, exit level. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Okay, so we're going to uninject in a second. Keep in mind that whenever you want to inject a new menu, you always have to uninject with this compiler. If you don't press a key in here, it's not going to uninject properly. So now that I've uh, uninjected the script, I'm actually going to leave zombies and go to multiplayer to show you how to switch the menu over to multiplayer. Uh, apparently, I haven't played multiplayer in this account. So, yeah, okay. So now what I'm going to do is actually go into my gsc.conf, and for multiplayer, I'm just going to replace this ZM with MP. And that should let you inject to multiplayer. We'll go ahead and start. Now, I don't know if this is going to crash. I hope it doesn't. But um, I believe everything's working because this is the same code that was used for the actual Infinity Loader compiler. After we're done with this game, I'll show you the uh, syntax checking update, and then that'll be the end of the video. Um, tomorrow, I'll most likely upload my um, Catalyst menu because uh, Extinct released his subversion. So, yep, everything's working fine. The only thing that's not going to work are stats because, of course, again, you need that custom built in. So you'll have to actually go into an online game if you want that to work. Um, but obviously, we don't care about that, so we're just going to hit exit game. Okay, the last thing I want to show off really quickly is the custom syntax checking. I'm going to wait for the game to end so I can uninject. And we're just going to add a syntax error. So let's say we forget a semicolon. The line number is going to be a little weird with semicolons. Um, it's around the line. So you see we've got main.gsc at line 59. That's kind of close to where it is. It's not exactly correct, but that's because semicolons are a bit weird. Now, if we were to do something like this, um, that should have the correct line. Yeah, see, we have 58. And it doesn't have to be in main.gsc either, of course. We can go into, like, let's say stats.gsc and just... Do that and we see yeah stats.gsc around line 24 so yeah hopefully that is a lot better for you guys developing because i know that that was an issue it, it was not showing like the file and everything so i went ahead and added that and in order to get that to work remember you're going to have to reinstall the tool using the new update so just check the video in the description for um, how to install it other than that, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Remember, share it with your friends. Let everyone know that the Black Ops 3 compiler is now free and open source. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.